right, so we found some beautiful local people here. They're going to tell us a little bit about the mining village. They live here in Rof. Rigof. Rigof. I always forget the name. Hi, guys. My name is Peace, and I'm traveling around the world. So let's peace out and go. Uh -huh. So we are entering now the mining village, an ancient mining village. Uh, the mines are, of course, not active these days. They are mines of Wolfram. Of what? Wolfram, with the chemical symbol W. Yeah. That they used to, to use during World War II for the manufacturing of weapons. Yeah. And these mines were actually disputed by Germans and British uh -huh. during the war. And the British used to come here and take the Wolfram, even when they didn't need it, yeah. just so the Germans couldn't have it. So ah, they used to fight there it. was a conflict about it. Yes, yes. Okay. So there you heard a piece of history about uh, this mining village. So we have entered the mining village at, uh, what's the name of this place again? Rigof. Rigof. All right, so this is the mining village, uh, Rogufe? Rigofe. Rigofe, it's called. Here is the entrance to one of the uh, mining places, yeah? To the actual mine or what? To the mine, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's co cold in here. Nice and cold, yes. Yeah, so but like uh, we don't see anything. Let me see. Can we go away? No light. So this goes down, this goes further away? Yes. This? There you go. Alright. Let's see. How much we can. Okay, we are of course not gonna go in there. Just wanted to show you uh, the entrance. Careful yeah. Thank you. There's another one over there, another entrance we can check out. So these buildings over here across, here's where the miners used to live? Yes, and then even some, some even had their families living here. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. How many years ago were they here? It was during the war. During the, Second World War. During the Second World War. Yeah. Okay. Here's another one. Here's another entrance to another mine. And this is where they used to live, I guess. This is yeah. for storage of the Wolfram that they mined here. Yeah, which was the. Uh, explain it again. It was the uh, material of the. Yeah, they use it to make weapons, weapons. back then, yes. And, and it was disputed by Germans and British. Yeah. You're saying that uh, it was during the Second World War and the Germans and the British were here? Disputing the... Because but they were in Portugal. Portugal you know? wasn't uh, involved in the war per se, but yes, they did use to, to, um, to supply the... The, the miners used to supply yes, the material in, in to this, do. In this case, for German and British, but the British used to come and uh, and hoard as much as they could, even when they didn't need it, just so the Germans would have had exactly so so weakening them. Yeah, so it was like a fight between the Germans exactly. and the Brits. <laughs> Uh, who gets the, how did you call it, the Wolfram? Wolfram, yes. Wolfram first, in order to be able to uh, build their weapons. So here's the door to the second mine, yeah? Okay. Let's see. Ah, okay. Very nice. Beautiful. Nest with baby birds. <laughs> okay, let's see a small nest with baby birds. Where is it? Oh, here. Is there anybody bird. inhabiting the nest now? There's a bird inside. Really? You see it? Yeah. 
Išu da zapredaš? Ne, nije. Ali pa sad budu. Ja, už dođe. Ja, veš ti uvakšili. Ja? So they are hiding. Yeah. I was sure they would come out. Okay. So, at least we saw some birds. Yes, the most. Something alive in here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. When was the mining finished it here? It was actually after the war, or after our involvement the war in the supplying of the war ended so at the end of the war this and many actually many other mines uh -huh. we have uh, in this uh, area actually stopped producing and lots of people lost their, their, their jobs job, their income uh -huh. because this used to, to have uh, a lot of people used to work here maybe all of the inhabitants here of this area like the one we have in our hometown also pardon me for the distraction if you enjoy this content please hit the like button Thank you. And that up there was the tower you said? Yeah, for control, yeah. For control. So we made a stop, uh, a little unique boutique coffee shop in the middle of uh, nowhere, uh, close to that mining village where we were. So we're gonna have a little coffee and maybe we'll find a local here that we can talk to and interact and hear a little more from the people who live here all around the year. All right, so we found some beautiful local people here. They're gonna tell us a little bit about the mining village. They live here in Rof... Rigof. Rigof. I always forget the name, Rigof. And we have here an elderly woman, a very nice lady. She's gonna tell us a little bit about the village and everything else. Hola. Hola. Como estas? Si, Muy bien. Tu eres muy hermosa. <laughs> yeah, bonita. Okay, uh, what can she tell us about that uh, mining village? What can she tell us about the mining village? How does it work with the mines? So she said, in, including, for example, her father, who also used to work in the mines. And she said, there were times where in those mines worked up to 3,000 people. And now the village is inhabited by, maybe, by, by maybe a hundred or something like that. And back then, it had worked for three thousand people up in those. Okay, lands. and her father was also. Her working? father was one of the people who worked there. Okay, and he already passed away, probably. Yeah, he did ago. already pass away. Uh -huh. uh, okay, that's what she spoke quite a long time. So, what did she say more? Because she explained what we talked about there, where they did, they did the extraction there, the uh -huh. mining. And then they prostrated it someplace else. Where did they do it? Where did they do it? Ah, it was there in the Satan, in the Viseu. Aha, okay. So they took it to a place. Yes, in the Viseu. Yeah, yeah, near Viseu, which is actually the closest si. city Who we took? have. The miners. The miners took what? They took the, took the thing they extracted to a place to si. separate it, to process it. That's to cool. process the what, yeah. the, what and they it was found actually in the quite mines. far from here, quite far. Well, it's the closest big city from here where they took it back then All to right. process it and separate it. She said it was a great time because ah, everyone was happy back then, and now there's a lot more yeah. sadness than back then. Why? Why is there sadness today? <laughs> okay, now let's see because she said something funny. She said, even though people don't, didn't have as many things or even as much money as they have now, uh, people uh, were more in groups talking and people were happy and nowadays you go to an establishment like this and everyone is on their phones and on the internet and they don't talk and nobody speaks to each other yeah. exactly there's no social nowadays, nowadays, only social media there's no social people and nowadays like you said people have 
more money, a better life, or a better life. In Supposedly, that, in that sense, yeah. but people aren't as happy as. But they people used. are not connected exactly. Yeah. And people so, had enough food to to eat. Nowadays, you can even waste if you want. Exactly, to. but there's people no happy, are, there's yeah, no real happiness. No happiness. Exactly. Uh, can you ask money. her please if uh, she remembers her father working there? She was there while he was working Você there. Você ainda se lembra do seu pai lá trabalhar? Ah, sim, sim. She, she remembers. Sim, yes. lembra. Her father died young, over 50 years ago, but she Sim. does remember him working there, yes. Even herself used to wash, she washed the mineral that they extracted from there, but this was later, not for, for mining purposes per se, but she, but she used to wash it. They had this device, I don't even know how to translate the name of it, that they put it in the water, the water ran through it and it came out clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so minerals from the, what they find yeah, in the mine. Yeah, and she I herself see. did that. But she said her father yeah, used to work there, but it was over 50 years ago. Right, I see. Yeah. Now, who owned the mining over there? Like, who paid her father, let's say? Who was the owner of that who paid the people who worked there? Who was the owner of the mines, the mines and metals? From the time of her father, she doesn't really remember the process or who was, but it was a company that was... Ah, so it wasn't belonging to the government or something like that. No. Not for the government. No. And you are her daughter? Daughter-in-law. Daughter-in-law. So you don't remember her, your father-in-law, probably. Was it not remember No, no. It was 50 years ago. Yeah, of course. She lives here in the village? Você vive aqui, Diga. Sim, sim. Okay, and uh, how does she feel when she sees today that area where we were? Seeing those mines left alone like this for so many years, what what is this doing for her? Na costa se senta a ver aquelas minas que outrora deram emprego a tanta gente. Claro, agora sente um bocadinho triste. She said it's a sadness and that it should be better preserved by government or the mayor and stuff like that. Should look after it better and preserve it better because it's such a big part of history and local history. Right, and and it is a major attraction for tourists also, so they should renovate it and and make it more interesting, right? And accessible. Right. And uh, she's, uh, I mean, a nice old lady and uh, <laughs> living here alone. How does she take care of herself? Is she alone? Is she, she's does not she have alone. kids? She's with, uh, with the husband. Oh, with you? The husband. Ah, she, her husband still lives? Yes, yes. And what does he do? Construction. Constructor still? <laughs> How old is he? Yes. Okay, what age is that? 65. Ah, 65. Turning 65. Sí. Ah, young. É a construtora na terra dos bifes, já She's saying where he's, a, where he's a constructor, it's where you went yesterday to the Pasadiso. Oh, the so he was uh, one of the constructors who made these wood Maybe passes? Maybe not that, but he's a constructor in mostly in that, uh, in that area. I see. So I think we can ask her also that one question about what I asked you. How do people, let's like, say elderly people like her, I mean, uh, you, you know elderly people especially, yeah, or even young, but can, something can happen to them, yeah. they need medical assistance. What do you do when you need something uh, urgent or emergency? Are you not afraid of it living here like this? So she says, yeah, the, the ambulance takes sir, about half an hour to get here and then at least half an hour to take you back. Right. And she said, yeah, it's a bit frightening, but people are so used to it. It's, it's a reality. It's, there's no way around it, so they don't really... Don't really worry it. about it. There's not, not a lot. <laughs> what did she say? People are very healthy here. Oh. She said the oldest, the oldest person yeah. in this town is 97 and he never takes medicine. And people are healthy. Wow. <laughs> it's promoted by eating things that you plant and oh, yes, eating, yes. eating meat uh -huh. that from animals that you raise yourself. Right. And you're, all, you're active, you walk a lot and you work. So, right. all of that so I, I was assuming that the people here are more healthy and yeah. more in good stature, so but as because of what? Because you eat more healthy food and stuff like that. I think yes. Yeah, but here you sell sneakers, <laughs> <laughs> which is not healthy. É das pessoas que vêm fora que não são saudáveis e gostam dessas coisas. It's only for people from uh, from abroad. That come. Only for the tourists. The locals don't yes, eat sneakers. Yes. <laughs> to make tourists <laughs> big, big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, in, in these smaller villages, people are, well, of course, there's exception, but most people are have a, a healthy way of life because you walk a lot, you, you have 
not the conventional exercise, but you do, but you are active. Right, and, and there's it, also it, no worries here. You yes, live so quiet and yes. calm and everything. Yes. Rest and and the sheep change. do <laughs> meh, and everything is uh, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> okay, uh, obrigada Nada, for talking to me. Sem pasores. Tell her. Muito obrigado por se disponibilizar para falar com eu. And you should live a long life. E que viva muitos anos. Obrigada, obrigada. Thank you very much. Obrigada. Tchau. Tchau, obrigada. If you have made it to this part of the video, I'm pretty sure you have enjoyed it, didn't you? So let me recommend that you watch this one next. But before you do that, I'll really appreciate if you leave a big like and also subscribe if you want to enjoy more videos just like this. Peace.